are having trouble sorting out the distortion from the storm, but I keep seeing this anomaly. Main screen. So what do you make of it? It looks like a vessel basking its signature in the maelstrom. Object bearing 112 to 20. Distance 920,000 kilometers. That's taking us toward the center of the storm. Well, we better check it out just to be safe. Communications. Let the landing party know that we're breaking orbit. See copy pad. Eagle One, Eagle One, and this is the Alexander. We are breaking orbit. Contents Navigation, a lot of course for that signature. Commander, we advise, sir. We have detected it's going to be a rough ride, sir. We got multiple shockwaves to go through. We are understood. To investigate. Tactical, sound general quarters, and ray shields to minimum. Let's try to even this ride out a little bit. Aye, aye, sir. Raising shields. Attention, general quarters. All crew, prepare for chop. If all these samples are as great as this one, we may have found the perfect source of dilithium. I've never seen such small crystals yield so much usable material. Thrilling. Just think of those bullies back home, what they'd say if they saw me now. Starfleet and rocks. The perfect combination. I guess mineralogy just wasn't my thing. To be honest, I'd much rather be in the Valley of Security. To look at some fallen trees? Topple trees. Yeah, it's a shame we're gonna have to strip this area bare. Bear? Yeah, they'll have to strip it bare for mining. No! Bear! Him on the left, I'll take the right. Yes! These rocks are safer, but Yes. Eagle one, Eagle one, and this is the Alexander. Alexander, we're barely receiving you. Please repeat that last message. We are breaking orbit. You see that? Alexander, what's your status? Was that an explosion? Alexander! Commander, be advised, we have detected a potential Gordon energy signature within the maelstrom. We are moving to investigate. Security, respond. Alexander, please respond. Security, where are you? It's dead. Security, respond. This is Lieutenant. Please respond. Security here. What's your status? Nothing has changed here. I'm still investigating. The storm is making a mess of communications. Acknowledged. We've lost all communication with the Alexander. There was... There was something in the atmosphere. Do you have contact? No contact. Could it be the Gorn? Unknown. Meet us back at the rendezvous coordinates. Sir, is that the best force? We haven't reached the possible landing site yet. If there's a Gorn ship... If there's a Gorn ship, the last thing we need is to be separated right now. We're not equipped for battle. We need to get to high ground and make sure that we can re-establish communications with the Alexander. 
Be at the rendezvous point in 10. And so, like the honeybees of Earth, they have, the Gorn have compound eyes, which can't distinguish the colors red from black. But when they hunt, they rely on the heat tips underneath their eyes to detect the body heat from their prey, much like a snake does. Is there a point to this? Well, yeah. In theory, we could use this to our advantage. We're gonna use the thermal insulated ponchos in our, in our survival kit as an effective camouflage. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to pick a fight with the Gorn, even if I have an in a poncho. Well, suit yourself. I still can't believe this is happening. You used to sit around the campfire telling Gorn stories as a kid. <laughs> I can't tell you how many summers I spent playing Gorn and Starfleet. It was, the, it was the dream of every child to grow up and face the Gorn for real someday. Not every kid. Come on. You didn't dream of becoming the hero, saving the day, captaining a ship, getting the girl? Uh, my brothers used to put their Gorn masks on, chase me through the woods. I'd lie awake at night, imagining a Gorn face, peering at me through the bedroom window with those terrible crystal eyes. You know their eyes aren't actually made of crystal? I know, I know, they're compound eyes. I just can't shake that image. Go ahead. Security here, sir. Just checking in. No change here. We're proceeding to the summit. I'm getting a little lonely back here. Any chance you guys could wait up? Negative. We'll meet you at the top. How oh, about a little conversation at least? Hey security, we're just over here telling childhood Gorn stories. You got any? Not really. Sorry. I would like to hear more about Commander's method to extract the lithium from the native rock. I'll be glad to give a lecture on it once we're all safely back on the ship. Sorry security. Security? Security? It's security! Defensive position! We have to go after her! There's no sense rushing in a battle! Wait! She's being attacked! It smells like terrarium in here. You know that? How about cracking a window? Y'all aren't real chatty, are ya? <coughs> Lieutenant! <sighs> Thank God you're alive. I was just thinking the same thing. You been able to learn anything? They don't talk much. But it looks like they took some serious damage and were forced to land. They seem to have repaired a lot of the ship's systems. I've been watching that one try to extract the lithium from the rocks on the planet for the last couple hours now. But I don't think they're having much luck. For the past couple hours? We were just talking to you on comms. Not me. They snatched me about half an hour after I left you and the commander. Well, if we weren't talking to you, then who? Directly into that wave. Sir? Aye, uh, sir. Emergency power to forward shields. Aye. Uh, Impact is imminent. Now count it off. Five, four, three, brace red pad. All hands, brace red pad. Commander here. Am I ever gonna hear your voice? got away from the gun? Yeah, I managed to get them to slip. But they got Lieutenant. I saw them taking him down into the valley. If we hurry, we might be able to cut them off. It's no use. We can't fight them. 
Rendezvous with me at the summit. It's the best chance of contacting the ship. If they're still up. Giving up? Scooty, I'll just wait a second. I haven't been exactly following protocol and moving to higher ground. I've been uh, running from the board. Like the last of my brother found it years ago. I just couldn't face it. And I just can't run anymore. I'm going to activate the locator beacon on my communicator and wait for you. We'll surrender to your form. It's over. Quickly, they're not gonna catch us. It's a bit tight in here for a sprint. Just run around in circles. I'm telling you, they won't catch us. That's your plan? Just run in circles? Shouldn't we wait for a commander to come free us? The commander's not showing up. We're on our own. All right, hold it. Ain't you all right? We are now. The poncho worked. Like a charm. I lured that Gorn up the mountain and slipped right past him. I knew it. What's your status? I don't think they have the power to get off the ground. They've been trying to extract a lithium from the native rock, but without success. So that's why you, I mean the Gorn, I was trying to get me to talk about my dilithium process. There's an easier way to do this. We need you to fly this ship, but you need me to make it go. We'll do it on my terms. some kind of electromagnetic interference in this storm. Every time we try to start it up, the system just shuts down. Do what you can. I feel naked running on maneuvering thrusters. Communications. Still unable to make contact with the landing party, sir. Sir, what if the Gorn has landed on that planet? Uh, sir, I'm uh, detecting a Gorn ship approaching from the planet. Red alert. Charge phasers. Helm, keep our nose pointed at that ship. I'm trying, sir, but it'll be impossible if they start evasive maneuvers. Got it. Do your best. Capitan, the Haley. On screen. Commander. Delta Green, Alexander. The Gorn have some interesting data on the anomalies of this maelstrom. I think we can tow you out of the worst of this so we can make repairs. We'd appreciate that. Stand down, Red Alert. Standing down from Red Alert, sir. It's good to see you. I am relieved to see that you're okay, William. The Federation and the Gorn are talking about mining the planet together, as long as they can find a way to safely pass through the storm. More important than that, you lived every kid's dream. Did I? Didn't feel like that. Come on! You, you defeated the Gorn, saved the day, captained a ship, and you got the girl. I got the girl? You mean... I do. That Gorn lady seemed pretty hot for you, Commander. She chased you halfway up a mountain. <laughs> she wasn't much of a lady. But she did have pretty eyes. <laughs> 